So here we are, uh, this week's episode of The Edge. We are in Winthrop, Massachusetts with Carbon Sports, which is cool, maker of the Airblade. And um, I'm here with Richard, who is one of the, uh, the three partners in the company. Richard, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, Richard Fusillo, I'm from Winthrop, Massachusetts, uh, home of Michael Ruzioni. <laughs> I was born and raised here. Um, I had another career prior to this, and uh, this is a little project that uh, me and two of my very good friends started. So I think that's years. always an interesting part of anybody's story is, mm -hmm. so you said you had a, a career before that, and obviously something changed. You either saw an opportunity or wanted to change. Like, tell us how, what you were doing before and how you got to, to where you I was the president for a major investment company in uh, national, international investment company, and I, I was there for 25 years. Uh, I had an opportunity to retire, uh, so I took the retirement, and uh, uh, my good friend Toby Avneri, who uh, I had invested in his company uh, many years before, uh, asked me if uh, he came over to my house, he saw my son's football helmet on the table, we started talking about making products out of uh, 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 carbon fiber, uh, and he introduced me to uh, Scott uh, Heitman, who owned Complex Carbon, carbon Composites. We all went out to dinner one night because we were going to build a, the best football helmet you could ever build. Uh, and uh, by the time the night was over, uh, we came out with the best hockey stick <laughs> you could ever build. And uh, that's, that's how it all came about. And we started that about four or five years ago. And uh, uh, we started doing testing down here every Tuesday night at, uh, at midnight. We pay the guy an extra $30 to keep the rink open. And we started testing hockey sticks. And, uh, and here we are now. We launched a little over a year ago. And, uh, Things are going great. We're really excited about what we, the kind of product we have, and uh, we feel like it's uh, we feel like we have the best hockey stick ever built. Very cool. So more on that sort of uh, move from from football helmet to hockey stick. So what was it about either the process or or um, the materials that got you from football helmet to hockey stick? What we what we determined. Uh, Scott is an expert in uh, um, material science and carbon composites. Uh, what we determined was that the helmet that we were going to develop was too hard. It was even harder than the current hel helmets, and it would cause more concussions <laughs> rather <Bad>. than protect it. <laughs> if you notice that the helmets now are going to a, to a softer shell where they can take the uh, take the uh, the impact and absorb it. Uh, uh, we talked about baseball and baseball bats. You don't want to kill the third baseman or the pitcher because our bat would be so hard. Uh, so we thought about hockey and uh, hockey being you want to shoot the puck as fast as you can there's no regulations on how fast you can shoot the puck uh, and as long as you're within the scope of the size and the range of the of the blade itself you can make it as hard as possible and uh, and and uh, we came up with a hockey stick yeah and what about that pro that um I guess process of uh, finding sort of that right balance between stiffness and, and flexibility for shooting a hockey stick. Oh, that, that, was, a, that was a four huge. year process <laughs> of, of, of uh, out here every Tuesday night uh, with a lot of really good players. Oh, yeah. and, and I don't consider myself in that category. I was a college football player, uh, but I played hockey throughout my whole life, uh, played in prep school. But, but um, you know, we had a lot of great players out here uh, helping us with the, uh, with the flex and uh, how it should actually be made up, and we're still every day we're we're finding out new things. I mean, even you know, with you using the, the stick itself, you probably give us some input on uh, on making it better all the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah everyone, right? Because the stick's such a personal thing, right? Exactly so for me, it right. was like the flex and you know the shaft, sure. the shaft size, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there's going to be there's going to be lots of opportunities for you guys to kind of diversify what you're yeah, doing. Absolutely. And as, with that said. Um, so we're an innovative company. We're Sparks Hockey, like sure. uh, you know, t uh, taking a, a run at skate sharpening and, and trying to make that a better experience for customers. Um, skate sharpening, home skate sharpening in particular, uh, automated home skate sharpening in particular, wasn't a very crowded market, right? right. There was really nothing in that space. Um, you guys, it's a different story. Like there's 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 obviously the big stick companies, Bauer and CCM, and now there's the ones that are following them, STX True. All those kind of things. So, so tell me about what it's been like bringing the company into that market, and how you you plan to sort of navigate it. Well, at the moment we're not in stores, but we're going to be there shortly. Uh, so you order online. One of the things that we have over those stores, uh, the big the big guys are, you can custom build our stick. You can put it whatever shaft we have on whatever blade you want. Uh, you want so uh, you can sort of custom make it. Uh, we get the order in over the internet, and we, we get it out the door within. 
four to seven days and it's in your hand. So that's that's a big advantage for us because mm -hmm. you go on the shelf, sometimes you don't see what you want. Right. You know, you're gonna have a, you know, maybe a 77 flex, but you don't get the curve you want. Right. You know, you get a low kick or a high kick. So sometimes you have to settle for something you don't want. With right. us, you can custom build it uh, however you like it. Yeah, very cool. Um, so yeah, our, our customers, our, our, our best customers, our biggest fans at Sparks Hockey are, are sort of that cross between uh, hockey player and, and hockey technology geek or gear geek. So um, in terms of the construction in, of these sticks versus the construction of the sticks that they're used to, what can you tell us about that? I know, number one, that they're made up in New Hampshire, which is right. awesome. Huge. Tell us about um, sort of how, how the construction of these sticks compares to Not only normal. do we make them locally and, you know, with, uh, with local people and we support the local economy, but uh, the stick itself is, is really remarkably different from what is currently made. Uh, they're 100% carbon fiber. There is no foam core, okay? They won't wear down on the bottom. They won't delaminate or break apart. Don't blow out at the toe, okay? And they will last uh, three to five times as longer, longer than the traditional blade. Uh, not only that, you're more aerodynamic, so you will swing the puck, uh, swing the stick faster when hitting the puck, and it's anywhere, we, we did wind tunnel tests, so it's anywhere from 13 to 15 percent faster that you'll swing the stick, which usually translates into around a 10 percent faster shot. Um, not only that, but what we discovered was the feel of this blade is absolutely remarkable. You can feel that puck wherever it is on the blade, and you have, so it feels like you have a bigger sweet spot. So you have better control, better stick handling, and more accurate shots, yeah. especially in your wrist shots. Yeah, with, I mean, just with the time that I was on the ice with you guys today, um, you know, I can I can definitely attest to that. Like where I was actually like kind of puck handling with my eyes closed to, intentionally to see like how that compared, and sure. and I did feel like, um, yeah, you can feel the puck on the end of the stick, which is kind of nice. Well, we, there's no foam core to dampen that feel, so gotcha. it, the vibration comes right up the shaft into your hands. You know where that puck is all the time. <laughs> Major Junior, and I went to Europe and played in Europe for four years. So, a team called the Rosa Villains. Yeah. Uh, I had a bunch of injuries, came home, played in the East Coast Hockey League for a little bit, and then quit. Yeah. And now, what do you do? Uh, I own Tree Service at Tips Oh, right on. Okay, cool. So, uh, I was looking for a stick uh, because I used to use a stick that was the same wide as Ken Lindgren when I was a kid. Yeah. I used to skate with Bobby Orr and all those guys at their hockey school, and I always had trouble catching a pass. So Gary Doak brought me in my locker room one day and we, we threw a whole bunch of sticks on the ice and said, we're going to find a stick that works. So I went through all the sticks and uh, I picked up Ken Lindholm and it changed my game. And that was, um, uh, uh, Richard actually over here was just telling me a little bit about that. I was thinking yeah. Elias was so... It's because the Elias so long. I skate very crouched over. Yeah. And when I was a kid, I think I even skated crouched over more. Yep. Yeah. So when the stick, finally the blade was touching the ice right, I could catch a pass. And Gary Doak said, now you're a superstar. I actually went on eBay and bought a Ken Lindsay stick to use, and I broke it. 
Oh, no. So my father was like, I don't know what you're going to do. He sticks some live fives and live sixes. So I ended up Googling Ken Linsman, saw the video of Cotton Sports, oh, got a phone number, called these guys, talked to Scott, and said, Look, it, I am having some trouble. I told him my story. He said, No problem, I'll make you a stick. So, so this is the stick. Yep, the Y3. Um, for some reason, the other carbon sticks, what's in the blade, but you lose the feel of the puck. The minute I put this stick in my hand, you can feel the puck. You can feel the puck on the blade. So you can pick your head up, look ahead, and still know the puck is on your stick. Compared to another carbon stick, that's however they're made, you lose the feel of the puck. So you're always taking your head and looking down at the stick. As I was out there, I use an intermediate stick. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you guys don't have that yet. So talk to me about the plans for... Well, we have an intermediate sh sh stick as far as the flex is concerned. We have a 57 right. and a 67. However, uh, within the next year, uh, we're coming out with two new shafts. Yeah. Okay. One very similar to the uh, Bauer 1X and one very similar to the uh, True 6.0. So the radius on the edges are going to be much greater. Right. So it's going to have a round. It's going to be rounder. It's going to have a better feel, especially for the ladies. They like that that uh, that rounder shaft. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to have both of those shafts in both mid kick and low kick. Gotcha. Uh, so that was another thing that I, in the office uh, not not long ago. You know, I kind of after all these years had that that moment where I was like, well, that doesn't make sense because um, you know, we were looking at some of the pro players and what they're using and. Uh, you know, you look at Brett Burns is a name that comes up in our, sure. uh, and yeah. um, and uh, I'm like, why would I, five foot three, like Colleen Coyne, have the same like shaft right. as Brent Burns? It doesn't make any That's sense. Amazing. So, right. um, but it's one of those things where you know somehow in our in our minds we've defined what junior what intermediate and what senior means. And if I define myself as a senior player, I must need a senior stick, and that's not the case not at all. Really, you've got to just right. customize it to what Absolutely. fits in your hand. Yeah. The women like that, that greater radius, the rounder shaft, and we're, we've listened to the experts. We have uh, a professional uh, inline player, uh, Ali Era, who plays for the U.S. inline team. She's the captain of the team, great player. You know, she's giving us input all the time, and we've, we, we're listening. So we're coming out with the new, more rounded shafts, yeah. Uh, in both mid and uh, and low kick, and so you're going to be able to put any of our blades on any of those shafts. Yeah. One of one of the most uh, speaking of different types of sticks, one of the most popular questions that we get at Sparks is, can your sharpener sharpen goalie skates? And so that you know it can. T talk to us about the any plans for goalie sticks. Absolutely, we have drawings <laughs> already. We have more goalies asking us, about, <laughs> when's the goalie stick coming? And you can imagine uh, that perforated. Uh, paddle all the way down to the blade right. and uh, our expert Scott Heitman who's a material scientist is going to help develop that and uh, our engineer Toby Avneri the CEO of the company who's uh, unbelievable with numbers and drawings and everything uh, between those two guys we're going to come up with the best goalie stick out there as well. All right, goalies, there you go. Um, and uh, the materials, you talked about the aerodynamic nature of the way that it's designed. Um, Talk about the weight. Does it does it just does it uh, affect the weight in any way? We're we're right there. Our weight is uh, is right there with the lightest sticks on the market. Yep. And in fact, our new our newer model uh, we haven't named it yet. Let's call it the Airblade Two, <laughs> which is going to come out with those shaft options. Uh, it, the blade itself is going to be even lighter than it currently is. Uh, so we we kind of feel our new our new sticks are going to be bulletproof. They'll be as light or lighter than anything out there. They'll be as strong or stronger, most likely, than anything out there, uh, and they'll last longer. So it sounds like we've got an exciting year coming up. Yeah, we'll keep, people keep an eye on it and, uh, and uh, see, look for Airblade 2, if that's what we're going to call it. We'll it could be a name change the, uh, for today. It's Airblade 2. Yeah. Um, and then just last but not least, tell folks where they can find it, website, address, like all that uh, kind of stuff. Sure, just go online, um, um, carbonsportshockey.com. You go right to our website. I think. Uh, you can customize your stick on there. It's pretty easy to order it up and uh, and ship it out to you. Uh, 
you put your email in. Sometimes we have uh, specials, so you get on our email list and, and we can send you, some, every once in a while we have a special where you save uh, a bunch of money on a <laughs> stick. And uh, we'd love to have you. Give it a try, uh, 60 day money back guarantee, uh, 30 day money back guarantee, 60 day full warranty. Um, and so you cut it down, use it. Uh, you don't like it, send it, we'll take it back. Yep. We'll take it back, yeah. Very good. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time and having us down here. And yeah, we look sure. forward to uh, sharing I, I your story. Give, I do have give a couple of plugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bobby Demento and, uh, <laughs> oh, please, and Wally please. here at the <laughs> rink. Uh, they've been very generous to us over the years. Uh, they let us use the rink whenever we need to. And the, those late nights on Tuesday nights where we had to test the yes. stick, uh, they let us use it. So this is Larson Rink at the Michael Rizzioni Center. Great place. Come on down. And also Jimmy Gillis over at the Winter Pro Shop. He yeah, always supports out. us, gives us these great shirts and stuff like that. Uh, he sells them over there. Yeah. So, uh, well, I, I was saying a to my in the parking lot, like, <laughs> I don't know, when I was driving into Winthrop and, you know, through Revere, that when you drive, like, into Winthrop, you just feel like you're driving in an old school neighborhood. And yeah. it sounds like you guys, have, that's exactly what it is, like an yeah. old school neighborhood. Which Absolutely. Is cool. These guys are great. The guys at the rink are great. And guys You've got partners here, too. I know. I don't want to leave your partners out, but it was just tough to coordinate three different interviews. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> See those guys yeah. over there. They're yeah. really the brains behind the operation. We know, yeah. They, yeah. they need a pretty, they need a pretty face for out, out front. <laughs> no, very good. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate Thank it. You.